When you see yourself as a failure, you are cutting off one of the most important skills you have, and that's your ability to produce. And so that's why today I'm going to show you how to stop letting fear of failure keep you from the greatness that is directly ahead of you. What's going on my people? Joshua Washington here, uh, author, organizational psychologist, and coach. And today we're gonna jump right into this topic of failure. I brought out the board again today because I wanna, I wanna break this down and deconstruct this for you. And so first, let's start off with what is failure? What is failure? I wanna make sure we all have the same working definition here. And, I, and maybe you've never heard what I'm about to share with you, but failure is really, and oftentimes, simply feedback. It is life or that thing that you're trying to do giving you feedback. And oftentimes I think it's probably something we should appreciate. Like it's feedback that we should have a high appreciation for. That's what failure is. But here's the problem and that's what led to what we're talking about today. The problem is that we can't appreciate failure. We cannot appreciate failure until we have a clear understanding of the two primary outlooks of failure. Yes, there are two primary outlooks that you and I have when it comes to failure. It's no in between. We either have one or the other. And today you're going to understand what those two primary outlooks are. Assess which one you have in your life so that you can produce. So that you can produce at an elite level. There's many of you watching this that you have things that you still want to do. You have things maybe today that you still want to get accomplished or things in your yearly goal sheet that you want to get accomplished. And the only way that's going to happen is if you have the right outlook when it comes to failure. All right. So let's jump into this. We talk about these two primary primary outlooks. Let's start with the one. Let's start with the, the one that I don't want you to uh, practice first. OK, let's start with the primary out, outlook of a failure and how it starts. So there's two ways we can look at failure. One is looking at failure as our identity. And those of you listening on the podcast, we're just writing on the board today. And so the first foundational where it starts a negative outlook on failure is when we look at failure as identity. And here's why that's so dangerous, because when we look at failure as identity, and what we end up doing is we live from a place when it comes to failure, we look at it as criticism. If it's coming from someone else and if it's coming from ourselves, meaning our own internal whispers, then what we end up doing is we end up self-sabotaging. We end up self-destructing because we see failure as not only um, we see failure as an identity. And I'm going to expand on that here in a little bit. But from that from that perspective, failure goes from being an identity to then becoming a part of our existence. So we go from seeing failure as not just a part of just who we are, it becomes our everyday existence. And so this is how failure becomes permanent in our lives. When we, when we start to see failure as a part of who we are. And so that's the next step. The next thing that happens is now we look at failure as I am a failure, which is where the outlook sits. And maybe some of you have experienced this. Maybe some of you have failed so many times over and over and over and over again that you've gotten to the point to where you actually believe that you are a failure. And this is the outlook I want to pull you away from today. Because if we start to see ourselves as a failure, then that outlook becomes permanent. And when that outlook becomes permanent, and this may sound real morbid to some, some people, but I'm telling you, this is the truth. When that outlook becomes permanent, it only leads to death. When the outlook of failure becomes identity, and that moves down to existence, 
And then that moves down to outlook. I am a failure. It only leads to death. And you may be saying, well, Joshua, what do you mean death? Are you saying, are, are you like saying that I'm going to die because I see myself as a failure? You know, what I'm saying is from that outlook, you can't produce anything. It's death to your ability to produce. When you see yourself as a failure and you think I am a failure, and you put that in context of whatever it is. It can be a goal, it can be a dream, it could be you as a father, it could be you as a mother, it could be you as a brother, sister, cousin, like you fill in the blank. When you see yourself and you attach failure to your identity, you cut off your ability to produce. You cut off the skill set of being able to produce. And so all that value that's within you, it dies. It dies because it has no outlet because the outlet is blocked by identity an identity that is rooted in failure. So that's one outlook. That's one outlook of how, you know, how we can see failure. Like that's the primary. The other one that we can choose from the other, the second, the alternative primary outlook is this one right here. And I'm gonna go back to the board. Let's switch up the color because, um, that red was for negative emphasis. Let's actually let's do black. It might be easier to see. And if you're and if you're listening to this on a podcast, I encourage you to go to YouTube and check this out so you can see it. It'll make it stick even better. But here's the second outlook and the one that I recommend you take when it comes to failure. I recommend you see failure first and foremost as an event. See failure as an event. And maybe for you, it may have been a series of events where you continue to fail, fail and fail. But the positive aspect of seeing failure as an event is that we use it as a source for examination and assessment. And when you begin to look at failure as a source of examination and assessment, you begin to make failure and put failure in its intended position within your life, which is a place for feedback a source of feedback. When you see failure as an event, you know, hey, it's time to examine and assess this failure, not take it on as an identity, but to look at it as an event, even if it's a series of events. And when you do this, that event goes down from an existence versus, hey, failure is a part of who I am and how I exist to now becoming just an experience. It's just an experience that you had. And when failure, when you can look at failure as, as a source for examination and assessment, and you realize I'm just experiencing failure. I'm not, that's not who I am. This is just what I'm experiencing. Then that makes you more self-aware and more objective. It positions you and aligns you in your life. Well, when fail, failure hits your life, you can assess it. You can examine it and you can become self-aware. Where do I need to change? What am I doing that may be causing this failure? What, what environment am I in? What network am I a part of that might be causing this failure? I've experienced this in my own life where there were times where I was just a series of fail failures. Like it was just multiple events. And it wasn't until I got to a point and I'll never forget this. I'll never forget. I got, I was driving home one night and I got to a stop sign and I'm facing a stop sign and my life was just a mess, y'all. A complete mess. I had, I was just involved in toxic relationships and I was, I was leaving uh, a friend's house and I got to the stop sign and I, I promise you, a still voice in my mind said, if you keep going the direction you're going, you're going to end up right in the place where that sign is in front of you. And the sign that was in front of me, it said dead end. Dead end. Why? Because I was taking on the identity of failure. And I wasn't paying attention to all of the, the feedback that failure was giving me in my life with all the toxic relationships, with all the, the inconsistency, with the lack of growth and the poor mentality. And that night changed my life. And I begin to start to see failure and to measure the experience 
that I was having as a source for awareness and objectivity. When we become more aware in our lives, we can become more objective. And so we don't see what failure as something criticizing us, even if it's coming from a person. We see it as an objective position that's leading to an experience that we don't want. And from there, that leads to, instead of the outlook of, I am a failure, that outlook becomes, I failed. I failed. Actually, let me get back to the screen so you can see this. It becomes, I failed, which is, and actually, let me back up. The experience part was temporary. Existence is permanent. Experience is temporary. If we pay attention to the feedback, I failed the outlook. That's the self-awareness and objectivity. When we, when we can understand, okay, I failed. Now let me take a look at what went wrong. What did I do? What was the experience? How can I change this? And you know, what we call that, that is called ownership. That is ownership. And there's nothing quite like, and if you, if you search, if you research anyone that's ever done something great or succeeded, and I don't mean great by numbers, but I mean great by influence. It could be in your family. If you ever witness someone that's done something great, you will notice a, a common occurrence. And that is that they have an ability to take ownership of their failures. How are you taking ownership of your failures? Are you continuing to blame the government and the community and this person and that person? Or have you started looking at the failures in your life as events that you've experienced that you have control under or over? Because I promise you, when you begin to look at your, your failures through that outlook of, hey, I failed, but I own it and I can change this experience and I can change these series of events. Here's what happens. What happens is that begins to produce something so sweet. It's called life. And when you think about life, I don't want you to just think like I woke up today. When you think about life, I want you to think your potential, your purpose, the value that's on the inside of you. What begins to happen when we own failure, we begin to grow. And failure gets to be used as the ingredient that it is supposed to be used as, which is an agent of growth. Failure, when you get that feedback and you realize, okay, this is an event, I just want to experience it, but I fail and I own it. You give life to your skill set of being able to produce. And what you will produce is growth. And when you produce growth, your life will change. But that only happens if you can maintain or obtain this outlook on failure. I know some of you are tired of failing, but here's what I'm, here's what I'm gonna tell you. When we obtain the correct mentality when it comes to failure, we become, we become, not anyone else, not the government, not you know whoever you're waiting for to come help you, but we become stronger. And through that strength is where your life begins to produce fruit that is actually pleasant and not bitter or spoiled. And that may sound deep for some, for some, but it's the truth. If you want to see greater production out of your life, then you might want to assess your outlook on failure. Because if you are seeing failure as, as something that is a part of who you are, instead of what you experience, if you're seeing failure as a part of your identity instead of an event, if you're seeing failure as, as or your life is positioned in death where you can't produce anything because failure's capping your life, if that's your outlook, then it's going to limit your growth. But if you obtain this, out, this positive outlook of growth, event, experience, I failed as an outlook, but I own it, then you will produce great fruit and you will produce a great life. I'm telling you, I've experienced it. I've lived it. This is the outlook on failure right here. So take a look at that. Take a screenshot, do whatever you need to do, but assess your life today. 
and assess which one of these outlooks are you carrying when it comes to your life, your success. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, make sure you don't forget to hit that uh, notification button, the subscribe button, whatever it is that, that you need to hit to stay locked in here. Because I believe as you stay locked in here, you will continue to grow and you will continue to maintain the right outlook when it comes to failure. All right. That's all for this week. Again, I hope this was valuable to you, but I will see you same time, same place next week, reminding you that success is your destiny to the next one.